Hey guys, welcome back to My Divine Timing Tarot. This is a love reading for the sign of Libra for this month. If this reading resonates with you, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for Libras in love. Let's do one more shuffle. What happened in the recent past in love with Libras? Let's get two more cards. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, and the Eight of Cups. Taurus energy here. Well, there's something that you walked away from. Uh, one message that I'm getting here is that Some of you could have left a long-term relationship or even a marriage. Um, it's like you had no other choice but to walk away from this in the recent past. There was something like maybe this person wasn't clear to you or maybe there was a misunderstanding or maybe this person lied to you. They were dishonest with you. But I see there you had no other choice but to walk away from this person. Another message that I'm getting is that uh, in the recent past, maybe somebody was currently going through a divorce. And there was a lot that there was a lot of misunderstandings or a lot of things that this person just wasn't honest with you about. And you felt that the best thing you had to do, the best thing for you to do was to just m walk away from this. So let's clarify. Clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse for Libra. It's too many. Clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, we have the Five of Wands. There was a lot of drama I'm getting. A lot of drama. There's some sort of like struggle or power struggle here. Could have been other people involved. And you just didn't know. It's like you had to really. And another message I'm getting. It's like you really had to fight. Like it was such a fight to get some sort of answer from this person. It's like pulling teeth, like you just, you could never get this person to even communicate with you. It's like this person had a hard time communicating and it's like the more you tried and tried, it's like this person just never wanted to communicate. Like when you're in an argument, it's like this person decides to just be silent. They wouldn't talk about it. Or there could have been some sort of lie or dishonesty where you were really struggling to find out the truth, but you couldn't. It's like this person just wouldn't tell you the truth. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse for Libra. It's too many. Give me one card. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is something about... A divorce or a separation. Or a long-term commitment that ended. Some of you possibly weren't, you didn't have the same sort of beliefs as well. It's another message that I'm getting. Just feel like you you knew that this wasn't gonna last long term with this person. Maybe, you know, another message that I'm getting is maybe this person wasn't someone that wanted to settle down. And you knew that. Regardless of the fact, I see you walking away. Just give me one more on the eight of cups. 
why Libra walked away. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You were done wasting your time. This wasn't going anywhere. There's no progress here. It's like you put in the work, but you never seen any sort of progress or improvement in the situation. And you walked away. You did have feelings for this person. You had some sort of emotion here. But this person gave you no other choice but to have to walk away. I'm going to get one card to clarify. Clarify the recent past in love for Libra. Okay, one card came out. Uh, we have girl talk. Yeah, moving on. Moving on. Maybe this person just wasn't serious about you. Whatever the case may be, you've moved on. Let's look at the current love situation. What's the current love situation for Libra at this time? Give me three cards. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Wands and the Four of Cups in reverse. I feel like at this time, Libra, um, you don't have many... Like, there... There's something about missed opportunities here. Missed opportunities or it could also mean that you're just not really invested in anyone. I feel like you are, there is, you are talking to people, but it's no one, I feel like there's no one that you want or you consider offering something to. But with the four of cups in reverse, it's also telling me that There's something about there is one person that that you are interested in, but at the same time, you're not, it's like there's no opportunity here for growth with this person. Let me clarify. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Yeah, the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. I feel like the both of you aren't like you don't you don't feel that intense connection with this person. You don't feel like this is someone you don't consider this person like your soulmate or your twin flame. You don't consider this person as your other half. And I feel like that's why like there's some sort of in incompatibility here with this person. You are interested, but it's like you know that either this is like that this person, things are just not meant to be for some sort, for some reason. Tell me about the Eight of Wands for Libra at this time. Uh, the Judgment card in reverse. You're really doubting things. You're doubting progress here. You're doubting that things are going to move forward with this person. I feel like you like them. You're, you're interested. But there's something about... Someone here not... Someone here is not completely invested. Tell me about the Four of Cups in reverse for Libra. Yeah, we got the Fool in reverse. Again, I feel like, you know, there's interest here, but things are just not going to move forward. Somebody is not taking things forward here. Clarify um, the current energy and love for Libra at this time. Clarify the current energy and love for Libra at this time. Okay, we got two cards. We got hammer and heart with a key. Yeah, it's like somebody, 
um, is has sabotaged this connection with the hammer card. And with heart with the key, it's like, this is someone new, you know, this is someone new that you met. But some, someone here is self-sabotaging this connection. Let's look at the predictive outcome. What's the predictive outcome for Libras in love for the remainder of February 2024? Let me two, two more cards. We have the three of wands, the three of cups in reverse, and the page of wands. There's something about you waiting is what I'm getting. It's like... Or this could also mean that you're not looking back anymore. It's like you're you're trying to move forward. I want to clarify before I say anything, but I do see someone coming in with the page of wands. I see a message coming in, uh, Libra, but I feel like this is someone new. This is another person. This is someone new coming in that you know that is attractive but they they act younger. They could be a bit younger than you. They could be right about your age or again they could just act very younger. This is someone who is kind of just venturing out you know i feel like there's something about a reconciliation not happening or ending this sort of friendship with this person let me see tell me about the three of wands for libra pisces energy the moon in reverse Yeah, I feel like you're going to start seeing things for what they are here. And you're finally going to start to realize that, you know, you have to move forward in life. You have to take a new route here. Whether that results in you having to end a, a friendship here. Tell me about the three of cups in reverse for Libra. Yeah, the tower in reverse, uh, Scorpio energy. I feel like you're gonna you you you're either going to end a friendship with this person, or if you if you end this friendship with this person, it's like. You don't want to end things badly. You want to end things like kind of like on good terms. You want to avoid having to end something badly with this person. Who's this page of wands coming in? Wheel of Fortune. This is someone that was meant to cross paths with you. It's something about the universe intervening here. And sending you this, this person possibly to take your mind off of, you know, this other person. I feel like your love is going, your, you know, your love situation is going to take some sort of twist here. Some sort of detour here for the remainder of the month. I'm going to get one card to clarify this last row. Uh, give me one card to clarify the predictive outcome in love for Libra for this month, Spirit. Let's get one card. Abundance. Yeah, there's something coming in for you. There's something meant to come in for, for you. And that is going to... 
make you feel a lot better. Make you feel a lot better about about things, about having to end things with, you know, to end a cycle, to start a new chapter here. Feel like you're doing the right thing here, moving forward. That's what I have for you, Libra. Hope it resonates and I'll see you guys again.